here's the thing that I continue to say on, on Woke AF, and I'll say it here as well, which is that you cannot lead from the back, mm. right? You cannot operate from a place of fear. And Democrats, instead of taking all of these gifts that you have just laid out, right? They have an opportunity to be able to push back and say, what is, I guess I understand Republicans, why you're obsessed with pedophilia, because your party is actually full of them. There you go. Right. I've never seen, like, here's the thing you have, um, daily coast, right? The news outlet daily coast has been running an investigative report, right? On Republican sexual predators and enablers and abusers, Waj, do you know what part they're on? Part 30. Wow. That's how many there have been that they have discovered. Part 30, not part one, not part two, not part five, part 30. And they are looking at Republicans that are in the state, local, and federal level. You're telling me that Democrats are afraid to take this gem and be able to bring it back to them for what? What are they going to what are they going to throw at you? Bill Clinton? Are they going to throw they're going to throw what? Some consensual sex out? <laughs> like we're well, they're talking gonna throw about Epstein. If they throw Epstein, then you throw Trump. You have the videos of them partying. If they throw Epstein, then you th- you throw the sweetheart deal that he was given in Florida that let him just basically casually go to jail and come out, even though all these women were saying, hey, this guy sexually molested us. And then it was, uh, who was the, the labor secretary that uh, that Trump chose mm-hmm. as the guy who gave him the sweetheart deal? I mean, like, exactly what you said is no matter what they'll hit you with, you have been given manna from heaven that you have counter punches, haymakers, jabs low blows high blows Hooks. i would say this I mean, is a you gift. Got all of them you got you have literally you have everything that you need in order to paint the picture of who the republican party is and this is the thing that is getting me right you even have right you have the one six commission on the on the fence right now about whether or not they're going to refer Donald Trump and company to the Department of Justice for criminal investigation. Right. You have that because they're saying, well, we don't want to be seen as playing politics. Wash, what fucking game are we playing here? <laughs> if you're in Washington, D.C. or the DMV. We're playing hopscotch. What, 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 what are we doing here? If, it's, yeah. if, if politics is not the name of the game, then what, what are we playing? Because I'm confused. Because here's the thing is that while they were able to turn the Benghazi hearings into a absolute circus, right, based off of lies, all right. just to smear Hillary Clinton, we have actual evidence of your party overflowing with pedophilia and sex abusers. So this is not a, oh, I know you are, but what am I? It's like, look at the list here. I right? know what you For are. once. <laughs> I know what you are, and I want you out in the public square defending these pet- known pedophiles and accused pedophiles and convicted pedophiles and sex abusers. I want you out in the town square defending them. Yeah, why I want you we, to be. I, so, I want you to be pro we, sex trafficking. I want you to be pro yes. uh, child yes. pornography. I want you to be pro Denny Hastert. I want you to be pro child grooming. Roy Moore. Let's not forget. I want you to go there and s- s- be forced to stand next to Matt Gates and put your hand around him and said this. This is the man I endorse for Florida. This is the Republican Party. This is the face. Look at this face. This pervy little face with so much friggin' wax in his hair. Look at this pervert who allegedly, according to his own friend, uh, had sex with a minor and trafficked her. You put them on the defensive. You put them on the heels. I would weaponize their own saying, okay, groomer, against them. I'm like, okay, groomer. You tell me like, why you're pro Literally, you are okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like, literally, you are okay with it. Why are you okay with grooming? If you're, you know, you're really concerned about child sex pornography and you're really concerned about, but you guys are really obsessed about this. In fact, you tried to demonize this very popular Judge Jackson, who just became the first black female Supreme Court justice, who has the approval of the majority of America and majority of America thinks you did some really nasty low blows by asking her what is a woman and accusing her of being lenient on uh, uh, child predators. But it seems that you're 
you're the ones that are lenient on child predators. Why are you projecting? And by the way, what did you say? What do you say to Roy Moore? Do you still support him? And what do you say to Donald Trump, your chosen one who supported Roy Moore, even after all these allegations came out? And what do you have to say about Matt Gates? That This is what I would do. I would literally, if I was Hakeem Jeffries and I was given a microphone, I would spend four minutes off the top of my head without any oppo research without like me just improvising that's what i would do and then that would be a juicy talking point that sound point would run throughout the media someone some republican would come on the sunday um, news shows they these these weak ass uh cable news hosts would be forced to do their job right and now they're stuck and then you better believe that some women some parents some independents some suburban voters when it comes mm-hmm. to the 2022 midterm election, they're like, I don't yep. like Biden. I don't like Democrats. Inflation sucks. But this mother effer is a child predator. This party actually says nothing. It's Marjorie Taylor Greene and Lauren Bobart and Matt Gates. They're way too crazy. I'm going to go with Biden and the Democrats because at the very least, they don't got sex traffickers running. That's what I would you know, do. And, and here's the other thing, too, is, you know, I, I wrote a piece last week for The Daily Beast that was about them using this OK groomer and smear campaign w- f- against the LGBTQ plus community. Right. Because it, that is always low hanging fruit for Republicans. Right. right. You need to paint the LGBTQ community as the ones that are pedophiles that cannot be trusted. Especially right? the dudes. And that is. And that is where all of anti-gay legislation sprung from, from the 1970s, 80s, and 90s, right? It sprung from this place that was stereotyped and around lies. You had people come out with campaigns to defend the children, right, against the gays. Meanwhile, it's the heterosexuals, quote unquote, that are in the Republican Party that are the ones that are looking after your children, Right. And so well, I, I'm glad you thing. put quote, I put I'm glad you put a, co- a heterosexuals in quote because we're finding out a lot of them aren't heterosexuals. But I right. digress. But I digress. But it's like, here's the thing. You know that they have consistently used this same old record that mm. they have been playing since the 20th century. Mm. Right. We are in the 21st century and they are dusting off their old hits and re- and Democrats are still acting as if they don't know how to respond to this. And what I'm saying is that they, you see how quickly they have moved from just the LGBTQ community, right, to now the entirety of the Democratic Party. That was like a, a, a switch that has happened over the last couple of weeks. Yeah. Just and a so of weeks. I'm saying to myself, like, you Democrats see what they are doing. They are telling you out loud what they are doing. They are creating these don't say gay bills. And then you have DeSantis's spokesperson saying, oh, these are anti-groomer bills. They're not anti-gay bills. Read the bills. They're anti-groomer. And if you are anti this bill, then you you must be a groomer. Literally tweeting that. Yeah. Yeah, this is, I mean, I think we have to connect the dots and I'm glad you took it back to the seventies and eighties and I'll try to do it in two minutes. Uh, if possible, whatever I miss, Daniel jump in, in the seventies and eighties, uh, uh, the, the, the demonization specifically of gay men was that they are actual perverts and child predators. Yep. And that was the, the narrative attached to the gay male. And then with the rise of the AIDS crisis, uh, the reason why this country turned its back and why Ronald Reagan and Nancy Reagan turned their back on it and into a pan, uh, turned their back on a pandemic uh, that could have could have actually if they had intervened and cared, you could have saved lives was because they're like, oh, it's just them gays. They're perverts. Uh, these are child yep. predators. And who cares about and them? This is, the this is God. This is God. This is God punishing was- them. This is God mm-hmm. punishing them. And then they realize, oh, wait, heterosexuals are getting it. Oh, wait, you know, people are using needles. Oh, wait, blood transfusion. Oh, wait, oops, we got to actually intervene now, right? Because gay lives didn't matter, much like black lives don't matter. Much like right now what the studies have come out and showed that when white people are told that the pandemic is killing black and brown folks, they go, eh, that just a study that came out two weeks ago, right? Less than two weeks ago, in fact. So now you have that 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 simmering, perverse ugly toxic narrative that demonizes the lgbtq community that says they're coming after your kids now crt why did they do crt because they're like we can make crt anything we want to we can weaponize crt as a trojan horse and talk about oh anti-whiteness uh anti-democracy mm-hmm. oh they'll turn your kids into marxist so let's take it back last summer 
I wrote an article saying that Republicans have done this again and again and again. They did this during the war on terror. They did this during the 2010 midterms where they created a solution in search of a problem. The anti-Sharia, uh, you know, bills. We have to save our kids against Sharia. What's Sharia? We don't know, but it's terrifying. Can you define CRT? <laughs> we don't know, but it's terrifying. It's coming after yep. the kids. Okay. Don't worry. We just have to save the kids from uh, because they're teaching the kids to hate white people. Don't worry. Uh, we're sa- we're saving the kids from really d- d- sensitive discussions about race. We don't want them to feel shame. Don't worry. We're saving your kids from becoming transgender. We're saving your kids from changing their gender. And then I'm like, you guys aren't paying attention. It's first Tony Morrison, then it's going to be gays. It's then it became the Jews with mouse. Now it's all LGBTQ, not just the transgenders. And very quickly, like you said, in the past six weeks, QAnon, which is a fringe yep. conspiracy theory that is now not mainstream, mm-hmm. that is a national domestic terror threat. According to the FBI, they said before the 2020 elections, this has the power of radicalizing individuals and groups. Here is one person that it radicalized. Ashley Babbitt, who was one of the violent insurrectionists who mm. tried to, you know, she she said it's the storm. She came there with violent intent. She broke the laws. She tried to get through. And a police officer, after multiple warnings, shot her dead. Now they call her a martyr. The yep. guy who allegedly created QAnon or is the founder of QAnon, allegedly, Ron Watkins. Guess what he's up to, ladies and gentlemen? Running for Congress as a Republican in Arizona. And during the Ju- Justice Jackson's uh, hearing, we talked about it on the show. It was just what we call auditioning of messages that the GOP would use for the upcoming elections. They threw whatever at the wall that would stick and they said, ah, this sticks. And what sticks is the following. All parents, do you know that Democrats are going to turn your kid gay? or transgender and then they're going to have sex with them and yep. traffic them and so it's not just about the midterms <laughs> oh it's my about God. the following oh radicalizing parents to rationalize the use of violence against yep. democrats did i miss anything no and it's just like if you i mean the arc that you just took us on if you were somebody that had been in a coma <laughs> right in put in a coma in 2012 and we're waking up woken up today and this was the arc that you would th- you would think what is this madman talking about is this is this on the cover of the national Enquirer no this is actually in our Congress right mm-hmm. this is the belief system that they have decided to covet and because we did not push back against QAnon because we did not air out how fucking batshit crazy this group is, They have taken over one political party in the the United States. But, Mm. you know, here's the thing. This is what I want to say. Last week, I had the great fortune of going to the White House for the commemoration of Judge Ketanji Brown Jackson's. um, And it was an amazing event. Wonderful to be back at the White House after so many years. I saw those selfies. You had a smile on your face. I did because it was just like, I never thought that I would go back after Mm. the Obama years. I mean, you have four years under Donald Trump. You have a pandemic. It's been five years since I had been there. So I have a smile on my face and we're all sitting down and President Biden comes out and he opens up saying all of these wonderful things uh, about Judge Jackson. But he opened up with talking about the insults, uh, the discrimination and the Mm. nastiness that came out of the confirmation hearings. And I said, Well, and then just stopped, right? Just like stopped right there instead of using what was a very long speech uh, that he actually gave, using it as an opportunity to say they are not representative of the America that we are, Mm. right? That this pervasive evil that has taken over, right, the other party is not who we are. It's not who America is and it's not what we want our democracy to be. Right. There was no reason for Judge Brown, Judge Jackson only to have three Republicans mm. vote for her. Right. Um, and, and so uh, what I continue to see are these missed opportunities to connect the dots for the American people, the way that you just showed the story arc of Republicans. 
It is not rocket science. You Mm. do not need a PhD in politics to understand what it is that they are doing. 